It's a me, a Mario. That's not the voice. You'll have to wait to hear the voice, but we've been working hard at it, and, and I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to be the voice of that video game that I dreamed about playing as a kid. Dreams come true. I really don't know what he was on about. <laughs> yeah, the Mario movie has been unveiled, and I like everything except Mario and his voice. Like, let's just get this out of the way now. Jack Black as Bowser, he has the energy, he can voice act. I never really had a problem with him. He sounds fantastic. Even the others, as the regular enemies and toads, sounded just fine. But Mario? He literally just sounds like Chris Pratt half-assing himself. And it's sad too, because the visuals look really good, and like, no doubt, it benefited from the Nintendo's tight grip, but maybe they should have held it a little bit tighter when it came to the voices. Like, each character already has fantastic voice actors that I'm sure would be willing to do their parts, or would have been willing to do their parts. The disrespect in the film industry, and just pretty much every industry, let's be real, has towards VAs, and just their other talent too, it's just sad, man. Like, you have people that went into school for this, or that this is their actual passion, and they truly care for what they play and act for, only to have studios just go for celebrities that don't fit so they can have a recognizable cast, when people really just want a good movie with people that care for the characters they play. Just a good movie, basically. Characters that sound like characters. <laughs> Other than Chris Pratt spreading misinformation online, I really don't have a problem with it so far. Well, I, I do have a slight problem with Mario's proportions. I don't know, they just don't look right. Like, they look like as if they were trying to fuse Illumination's hideous character designs with Nintendo's actually good ones, and this came out. Like, his smaller hands and just smaller facial features overall. When Mario's supposed to be, like, exaggerated since he's basically a cartoon character, let's be real. Like, when you compare him to regular people and him in Odyssey, you see what I'm trying to state here? You can tell he's cartoony, he's, he's a caricature of a human being. And just overall, they already had a working design, and I really don't know why they just had to mess with it really like if it ain't broke don't fix like that metaphor or phrase exists for a reason <laughs> like i don't mind them making it or slash adding details like again what odyssey did by adding mario strands of hair to his actual like hair and clothes textures like they made it a little more high definition i guess <laughs> but i really don't think they should have messed with their designs but other than those i really like how it looks and i'm kind of relieved it seems to be at least following the basic building blocks of mario now whether we see illumination's true influence come through we still yet to see but i really hope nintendo had their iron grip like they usually do funny the one time where they actually need to use that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still slightly looking forward to it, and I really hope that it pulls a Sonic movie and, you know, is good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios. Also, leave your thoughts in the comments if you want to. Alright, catch you later. Adios, adios.